The Leader Ambulation Boot, stronger and safer, features Kydex, an aerospace boot shell, and Cureban antimicrobial covers and fleece or vel foam smooth. For proper sizing, measure 11 inches up from the heel to the lower calf. At that point, measure the circumference of the lower calf. A measurement up to 16 inches is a regular. Order code R for regular. A measurement over 16 inches is a large. Order code L for large. The patient should be supine or lying down. Open the boot covers and place the boot in the proper position to accept the foot. Place the foot inside the boot. Make sure the foot fits snugly inside the boot. To close the boot up, start with the bottom cover and then close the upper or calf cover. Here's an interesting point. You can see where the top cover isn't closed perfectly. The nurse is opening it back up. She's going to properly pull the top closure down to pull the instep into the boot. The advantage of that tall closure on top is that it eliminates the need for an instep strap because the lower area of the closure strap performs the same function. It counteracts foot drop and pulls the heel back. Finally, check for fit. Make sure the covers are not too tight. Readjust if necessary. Here's the heel float area where you want to make sure the heel hasn't sunk down too far. Readjust the foot as necessary. This serves as an inspection port as well where you can check the heel condition. This is the anti-rotation bar. It can be pulled out from either side so that you can control hip rotation. To break the boot down, to change or wash the cover, turn the boot upside down to access the ambulation pad. Pop or pry the fast lock rubber donuts out that secure the lock nuts. You can get them started with something like a pen or a pencil and then just pop them out. These little rubber donuts lock the nuts so that there is no way the ambulation pad can come off unless you want it to. Unscrew the nuts. This ambulation pad assembly with the dual locking nuts provides greater safety for you and your patients. Pull the pad off. As you pull the pad off, the adjustable toe post is exposed. The slot in the toe post allows you to slide it forward or backward, adjusting it for toe position. Remove the toe post. Now turn the boot back up and around to the back. Lift the back cover up and note again how to adjust the anti-rotation bar. It locks in place right or left 90 degrees. Open the large Velcro tabs at the back of the boot. The bottom cover is held in place here. Open the small Velcro tabs from the top cover. Pull the tongue back that covers the back of the shell and slide the bottom cover off. The top cover is still in place and held with Velcro. It engages with the Velcro on both sides of the shell. Just pull the cover back from the shell and it will slide off the top. This top part is where you start when you reassemble. Now the complete Kydex shell is viewable. Kydex is the best thermoplastic available. It's a true aerospace quality plastic with unique thermoforming capabilities. Here the anti-rotation bar can be removed or adjusted. When you reinstall the bar, tighten the nut with the bar at an angle of 45 degrees for optimum fit. Then it will snap back into place. Thermoforming is for professionals only. To change the boot angle, heat the curved angle area slowly while applying moderate pressure in the direction of the desired bend. As the plastic starts to bend, remove the heat and let it cool at the desired angle position. Let the shell cool before reassembly. Insist on Kydex boots from Leader Group. Safer, stronger, and field moldable. To reassemble, start with the bottom cover first. Insert the shell into the bottom cover. Watch out for the bolts as you slide the cover on. Lift up the fabric tongue that wraps around the back of the Kydex and then engage that fabric tongue to the back of the Kydex and check the bolts. Now turn the boot upright to put on the top cover. Again, first you engage the slot at the top of the cover that's sewn in place to accept the top of the boot shell. Push the cover down against the very top of the shell. 
Engage the front of the cover with the Velcro on the front of the Kydex shell. Smooth it down to the very bottom. Now, turn the boot upside down again to access the locking Velcro tabs. Lock the small tabs in place on the tongue of the bottom cover we first installed. Now, wrap the large tabs from the bottom cover around the heel to cover the small tabs. Note the heel viewing port used to check the patient's heel. Smooth the back of the top cover down, covering the anti-rotation bar. Everything is covered. No plastic is exposed, protecting you and your patient. Now put the toe post back on. You can see the adjustment slot here clearly. Move the toe post to the desired position and put the ambulation pad back onto the bolts on the bottom of the boot. Then screw the nuts back on. Insert the fast lock donuts to lock the ambulation pad in place. This pad will not come off. This is the safest and strongest ambulation boot available. Now what you see is a completely reassembled leader group ambulation boot featuring Kydex, CureBan antibacterial covers, and fast lock ambulation pad. Strength and safety for you and your patients. The application and assembly procedure is the same for the bed boot without the ambulation pad. Always be alert for redness or swelling. Whenever you find it, immediately notify your supervisor and discontinue usage. Be proactive. Sound the alert. More control, better outcomes, transforming lives for you and your patients. Leadergroup.com